Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly bake a potato and this is going to be using primitive means. Uh, without foil, without a pot to boil it in, we're going to bake this using this substance right here at my uh, feet. This is natural clay and if you can see back behind me, I'm in a natural ravine. These are perfect places to find clay deposits because you have lots and lots of different layers exposed by nature. Now, clay can come in lots of different forms. You can have sand mixed with it. Uh, purities of clay are going to be different. You see a little bit of it's cracked out over here. That's what clay does when it dries out. And down here where I've disturbed it, I've got a bit of uh, clay already exposed. Now you're going to collect it. You want to make sure that you don't have any organic material, uh, any kind of roots or anything like that, or any dirt mixed in with it. But if you can see here, nice beautiful white stuff, a little bit back here. Pull out that bank, pull out any of my uh, grasses and organics, and with a little bit of working, adding water if it gets too dry, you've got some really good natural clay. And I'm going to show you how to use this as an insulator, kind of a nature's tin foil to bake your potato in. So stay tuned, guys. The process is pretty straightforward. You're definitely going to want to build a fire that will develop coals because in the end, you're actively baking this potato. I've gone ahead and collected the clay and I've got a lot more than I need, uh, or at least for a potato of this size. I do like to have water around because I'll splash my hands. Don't add it straight to the clay, just a little bit of moisture on the hands and that's gonna allow me to move this clay around pretty well. Because unless you're just in a very, very humid environment, it's going to freeze up on you and it makes it really difficult to uh, move about and make what you need. So the first step we're going to take is to flatten this out. Uh, all the way around we're just going to move it outwards adding a little bit of water here and there and we're pretty much going to make a covering that we can put the potato in and wrap around and that's the idea. So start working it and notice that it's definitely dried out so it's got a little bit of cracking. This is where the uh, effort comes in. So, a little bit of water. Went ahead and added it to that clay because it is so dry. And you want to work it. It's going to take a while to move that moisture into the clay, but it'll pay off. Well, lesson learned, definitely make sure that your clay doesn't get too dry because this has taken me a lot more time than it usually does. But we're pretty much ready to go ahead and uh, wrap our potato. And so just put it in the center and you're just going to fold and form the clay all the way around. Just like you're making a snowball around uh, some object, you're just going to push it around and make that clay move. And so I'm covering this over with about a three quarter centimeter layer, which is going to work out pretty well and I want to get full contact with the potato. So as you move, as you continue to push that clay into all the gaps, you're making a pretty good seal. And you'll see the cracks going away little by little. This is gonna insulate your, uh, your potato from the fire and keep it from burning and blackening and uh, losing any portion that could be edible and help you out. Keep on working it. And there you go. 
there's your potato covered in clay and it's pretty uniform all the way around don't have any visible cracks doesn't have to be perfect it's just gonna be burned up in a fire anyway and we're just about ready to go ahead and put it in the fire the last things we want to do before we put this in let's go ahead and puncture it and so you want to make sure that uh, the moisture that is going to be in that potato is able to get out so I've gone ahead and it's gone into the potato and it has also uh, gone through the clay obviously and we're ready all right let's go ahead and prep some coals now you want to make sure that you've got a good steady heat if you don't want to end up scorching that potato although we put clay on it that's a pretty good insulator You still have the potential of burning the potato through the clay, as you would with foil. So, uh, a good bit of coals ought to be giving off pretty good heat from all sides. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there in the middle. Uh, and this is some pretty dense wood. This is mesquite right here. So it's going to continue to burn. Uh, if I have something like hackberry or some pine or something that's going to burn up very quickly, a lot of times I'll go ahead and cover this with coals but it's not necessary right now so at this point don't rush it it's a waiting game should take you about an hour or less to bake that potato and so leave it alone don't touch it let the clay do its thing and we'll see you in about half an hour it's been about 15 minutes and uh, you can start seeing a drawing pattern around the uh, clay. You should also, it's easily noticeable, that it's begun to uh, crack out a little bit. It's quite large cracks, but it's still protecting the potato for the most part. A lot of it just kind of depends on your clay, but uh, this is pretty typical for, for what I get out in this area. So give it another 15, 20 minutes. We'll see how our potato is doing. So it appears to be done. And uh, we haven't moved it at all. Go ahead and push these coals back just a little bit. And uh, if this has been done correctly, this should be a bit of an unveiling. Go ahead and uh, fill that clay back. Release it. It's time to retrieve that potato. Let's see if we've done something right. All right so no real damage. Little dry spots here and there. Completely done. Perfectly done. Very good. Well, I'd say that worked out pretty well. This is one way to cook your potatoes over a campfire using none of the modern conveniences. And uh, you haven't burnt any of the skin. You come out with a perfectly baked potato and uh, everybody wins. So guys, try out new things. Go camping, enjoy nature. Like and subscribe, and as always, till next time. Perfect potato.